Hi guys, Brooklyn, and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review on the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Makeup Base Primer. Basically, I think it's meant to be a primer anyway. And I've, and I've got the shade 4.5, which is medium olive. And I have it on now. I actually did a demo on this about four months ago. And I haven't got around to doing this video until the day to review it. But as you can tell, that's the packaging and you can tell it's so used up like you can tell where the wee marks and all are and where like the product's missing i've been loving this so much i've got the travel size the travel size is around 14 pound but the full size one which i'll put a picture up now is about 30 pound the reason why i got the travel size is because i wanted to try it out to see what it was like to see what i would like it before i committed to buying the full size because i didn't want it back like pay for any pound and buy the full size and find out it wasn't what it was cracked up to be which i knew most likely would have liked it but i wanted to try this out travel size and the time when i bought it i knew it would be going away like weekends away and stuff and i wanted to have a wee primer because i do use glowy primers all the time a wee travel size one to put in my makeup bag dude when i'm traveling and also at home as well obviously so um, the packaging is really, really cute. Like, I love the way it's, like, nice and, like, a rose gold and, like, the colours are, like, the colour of the primer. They have several different shades. I think there's around, I think, about eight shades, maybe ten shades, and I'm not entirely sure. I'll put it here anyway, which is quite, really, really good because everyone has a different skin tone. Yes, I'm fake tan and not too really dark, <laughs> unfortunately, but it's good that there's different shades for people who have pale skin, like, me naturally people who are like nightly medium people who are like me in the dark dark tan or tan the dark and then um really really dark it's all different undertones and different shade ranges in this primer which is quite good because it is a tinted primer it's not a clear one because it has a glow and a tint to it so you could and i have used it on its own without any kind of foundation over top of it i've used it with concealer and a bit of cream bronzer and it's looked really really nice so I have been using it today, I find it's nearly run out, that's why I have to urgently get this um video on done. I do have it on warm light with the ring light because I felt the other lights, the white and the blue light, blue white light, that kind of light, was washing me out. So I have it on warm light just to kind of give you more of a colour to my skin. <laughs> so yeah, um... This claims to give you a glowy, lip from within, luminous finish. It's meant to kind of blur your face, so it's meant to blur any imperfections, smooth your skin, just really make your skin look glow glowy and gorgeous and everything that skin dreams are made of, basically. And it does. I have it on now, as I mentioned before, and I'll be wearing this foundation and primer wearing this foundation as well, top of it, which I will be reviewing after this video. I've been wearing it for, I would say, so I put it on at half one and it's now half eleven, so ten hours wear, which is quite good. Close up. I have touched up on the nose because I've been had a bit of a cold to be blowing my nose throughout the day. So yeah, apart from that, I haven't touched up apart from the nose. But it does look nice and glowy and fresh. And I find when I'm wearing this primer, even when I set it with powder like the foundation, I find during the day it does come out, the glow comes out, and it looks even nicer than when I've applied it and done my whole makeup. So that's quite good. And I find it lasts all day. It makes your makeup just go on really, really nicely. Just makes your makeup look a bit more special and a bit more kind of elegant, if that makes sense. So yeah and i find the formula i'll show you the doe for applicator it does have the same doe for applicator as the big size and the swatch of it the color is actually like a lovely kind of golden medium olive color and it's really really glowy like up rubbing in like that if you can see there and it does give you a nice shift to the skin it just smooths everything out the difference yeah, that one looks smoother than that one so it's nice and i'll definitely consider getting it again so so it has a slight makeup-y kind of light 
florally sweet smell to it. it isn't an overpowering smell it's just quite good if you don't really like strong scents you'll love this i don't mind strong scents as long as they're good and they're nice smells but i know some people really can't stand smells in their makeup and if you can't stand smells in your makeup i think you'd like this because it doesn't really have much of a smell it's like a nice really really light faint like pleasant smell which is quite good and um i would say because it is quite creamy and smooth and it's good for like people who have dry skin too oily skin i would say if you don't mind a bit of shine go for it but if you're very very oily i think it would just be too much for your skin so it would and it's for you if you definitely like that glowy glowy look to your skin it definitely is okay so i'm going to cut the demo here so i'm going to start to apply the hollywood floss filter and i've got my eyeshadow all done and my eyeliner the reason why i did this is because um i wanted to save time instead of waiting around for my camera to charge and i hope this lighting's okay i really do but i'm just working this all around my face i love the way it has a wee spatula you can see there and it just really helps just to really make sure you get every thing covered i don't like to put load on because i like to have a glow in my face so yeah and it isn't the first time i've tried this if i've mentioned before i just I've had tried it a few times like and I really like it. It's a lovely like glowy base primer. I use it as a primer. So I perform my foundation because I like to have glow. And this just feels lovely when it goes on. Like as I'm applying it, it is feeling really, really nice and smooth. I can hear Trainer crunching, that's my wee Frenchie son, Horton. Trainer's bone. And yeah, he's a dog. <laughs> Not an actual boy, but I call him son anyway. Because I'm weird. For a baby, that's what I call them. I'm, I'm not the only one in that, I know that for sure. And yeah, I'm just grab my mirror to see what it's like. I know like this lighting's a bit crap because side's more bright than that side. I need to put a bring that on. I should have done that, but I just have no time. I really have no time. So looking at it, it definitely gives me a nice, proper, dewy, glowy, basic filter on my face and i really do like that and it does give you a nice kind of olive tan glow as well that's the color picked was 4.5 which is like medium olive because i prefer to have an olive tan with my fake tan and i like to try to find base products that match that so yeah some people don't like the applicator on this because they think it's like unhygienic well it's only me using it so it's not really too bad for me I don't mind it, I actually like the applicator and I just like to apply it with my fingers, you can if you want to, just use a sponge but I just think, just apply it with your fingers, get it all on and then do your foundation so um, I just love the finish of it, it's very kind of lip warm thin glow, so it is and sorry notification there but I'll come up closer to show you. Like it looks like a filter on my face, I just absolutely love it. Like it's so glowy. So yeah, I'm gonna take So I'm gonna get my foundation on and I'll come back. I'll show you what foundation I'm gonna use. I'm not sure whether to use a fancy or not. Cause I might be reviewing one at least a day anyway. I'll probably do the I don't know what to do. Fancy or not. That'd be Fenty actually, I'll use Fenty today. So I'll be using the Fenty um, Pro Filter. I think that's the right way it goes. I think so. Yeah, this one. It's the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation, and I'm going to apply this and come back because I am going to review this now. Okay, so I've got the big overhead light on as well as the windows open just to give a good light. Um, should I put the ring light on? I don't know. Might actually just put the ring light on. This lighting today is doing my head in, so. I think that's enough, yeah. Okay, so, um, 
that is what the primer looks like. I've got um, the foundation and the rest of makeup already on my face. And so far the primer looks really well. Like the Hollywood Floss filter. If you wonder why I keep on calling it primer. Basically as a primer. So yeah. I'm just watching and see what he's doing. So it just looks really, really like nice and like glowy and lit with my friend, which I absolutely love. So definitely I just love it. And I'll try to link what I have on my face if you're wondering and if I haven't linked it down below just let me know. But lip colour is Be Perfect in liquid lipstick in the shade Bougie and then the NYX lip liner in natural. So yeah, I'll cut to um me doing a review. I'll say it's for you if you love a nice moisturising, glowy, blurring, smoothing glowy primer, luminous primer that's just really really nice in your skin and makes you look like airbrush, makes you look younger and just a lot more kind of smoother and luminous it's for you. If you've got like drier skin, normal to dry, even mature skin it's for you. If you like to kind of splurge on more luxury products and you don't mind spending £30 if you want to get the full size one it's for you and if you find you struggle if you've got darker skin you struggle to find a luminous glow primer that doesn't make you look like you have a white cast in your face there's darker shades in this and it's for you definitely and even if you're very very fair and you find some primers just make you look really pink or like orange like some glowy tinted primers it's for you because i have brilliant options for fair people for fair skin people and if you just like to look like really, really airbrush, it's for you. It's not for you if you have a lot of like problem skin issues. I don't want to say that as a main thing, just more of a matter of effect thing. Like, say you have acne in your skin and you've got like um just a lot of hyperpigmentation and stuff and you wanna use this as a pr and you wanna use this as a foundation it's not a foundation but some people do use it as a foundation just to kind of give a light base with concealer you couldn't use that on your own if you have like a lot of things to cover up because it's not meant to be used as a cover-up foundation but you can go ahead and just use it as a primer and just use your full coverage foundation over top of it which i do so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it didn't ramble on too much which i do i always ramble on and i'll see you again for the next one stay gorgeous god bless bye